So, good afternoon, Crafter Cream. I'm in the bottom shed and I'm working on other bits today. So, mainly the seats. So, uh, with the seats, when I got this car, there were none of these wooden rails that go between the seat and the floor. And there were also no spaces so these little spaces here so i had some left over from my other project so i had a piece i kept a piece of the wood and i kept a couple of the couple or three of these spaces they have proved very handy right now so what i've done now is i've got some wood which is eight millimeter by 30 which is not exactly what came out because i think this is quarter looks like six so and i've also was short of these so i've machined up eight new ones of these out of stainless steel no doubt get some galvanic corrosion for at some point in its life but anyway i'm not particularly phased about that right now so yeah made eight of these up so they're all ready to go in i then got the wood i put two of the old because the uh, bolt the bolt distance between sensors is the inner holes not the outer ones not sure why they got the four holes in there but anyway more likely to do with the different seat or whatever I then marked I cut the wood to length I then got a pilot drill and drilled through that hole there to mark the center I then put a bolt down this I don't know whether you can see this I put a bolt down the center to hold that in place then I drilled this one then I took this off and I got my hole saw, my trusty hole saw and I marked it off with a black band. That's to where I have the depth I have to cut to. So I then cut to that depth there. And because of the width and the thickness of that, I then had to come through from the other side and just finish the hole off. So then that's done. So I've still got three to do, but I just thought I'd show you what I did in the process so that it's pretty straightforward using this as a guide rail bolts in pilot holes so everything's everything's in, everything's in the right place all right so there we go um that's all done so then i also what gear stick underneath the gear surround this is what came out and that was glued to the top of the transmission tunnel so when i got it off it broke obviously so I got this which is the top of the gear stick surround chrome or black and I then cut or did, drew a pattern around that around some six mil uh, board marked that all out got the uh, jigsaw out with a very thin blade so you can chain so you can turn tight corners Drill some holes, drill the pilot holes first for the uh, where the bolts go. Slightly oversized, obviously, so it gives you a little bit of room to play. Then I cut the inside out and cut the outside out. And then, yeah, for what this is going to do, that is as good as it's going to get. And then that, yep, yeah, so that replaces this, which is obviously better than that. And I'll just go and look at the seats with you and then give you a bit of an update on the seats progress. Just remembered before I leave this shed, I've had all the seat rails, uh, cab plate, or they've been plated so that they uh, don't rust like they did when they came out. So I've got all those blasted, had them done. So they've all been done now. So they're all ready to be reassembled. Had the dipstick done, but don't like it, so I'm not sure whether I'll use that or not. Anyway, got that done as part of what I was doing. All right, now I'll go and do the seats. So I got the seats back last week from the upholsterer. So he has done all the repairs now with the seats. So he's used the webbing, all nice and tight, new foams and new back boards. And I got the seat covers which are a standard thing from a rimmer's 
even though it's not a paid or haven't been paid or anything else I just bought them from them so these are seen as originals so the complications started because obviously left hand drive so when I bought the seat covers or the the, the uh, overhaul kit for the seats the backs are different so these aren't the original seats that came out of the car these are some that I managed to find from a Vela Rover in Over East and then I got these recovered so the original ones that I had uh, would not do the job so the seat covers wouldn't fit so another little added complication from going to uh, right hand to le uh, left hand to right hand drive these also have the uh, headrests so I've got a couple of spare headrests and I'll stick those in as well but yeah the original seats didn't have headrests but anyway they've been recovered and the guy here does an excellent job really really good and he's really quite reasonably priced so yeah bit of a success story with the seats if nothing else all right so that'll do thank you for subscribers and thank you for the comments and keep on subscribing uh, i'm getting closer and closer and uh, yeah hope you get something out of this one ask any questions you have and i'll see if i can answer them for you in regard to anything to do with the seats bye for now